This video is part of a series about how to make PowerPoint slides accessible, particularly to people who use screen readers. In this session, we're going to look at the Slide Master. We'll look at what the Slide Master is and why it's important for accessibility. I've prepared two slides and I'm going to explain how the Slide Master works. To start with, I'm in the Home menu. So on my slide, I have a title and a subtitle. On my second slide, I have a title and then some information. Let's look at how that relates to the Slide Master. If I look at the layout of this slide, I can either right click and go to Layout, and I can see all the different layouts, including the one I've chosen there, or I can hit Alt, H for Home, and L for Layout, and I can have a look at them here. I can use the arrow keys to navigate these. So for this slide, I've used Title Slide, but I could choose Title and Content, Section Header, and so on. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. I'm going to have a look at my second slide. Let's see what the layout of this slide is. This time I'll use the mouse. So for this slide, I've used one called Title and Content. But where do these come from? That's where the Slide Master fits in. You can access the Slide Master through the View menu. Again, you can click on that with your mouse or hit Alt and W. And I want to view the Slide Master, so I'm going to hit M. I'm going to use my arrow keys to go right up to the top. So the Slide Master is a hierarchy of slides and it stores important information about those slides. There's usually one at the top that has general information which will then be repeated on the ones that sit, that sit within it. And then there are other ones that you can choose for specific purposes. If I hover the mouse over them, you can see that this one is called Wood Type Slide Master and it's being used by slides one and two. This one is called Title Slide Layout and it's being used by slide one. And this one, Title and Content, is being used by slide two. So let's have a look at the information that's on each one. First of all, we have a title area and a subtitle. In the Slide Master, this has placeholder text in it. So it says click to edit master title style and click to edit master subtitle style. The wood type Slide Master refers to the theme. I've chosen a theme called wood type, but I could choose a different theme if I wanted to. And then all the slides within it would be according to that theme. Or I could decide not to have any theme or I could make my own theme. So within the Slide Master, we have general information about all of the slides in that theme. And then we have things like a title slide, which has a title and a subtitle. And then the others that have a title and content of different types and different layouts. The important thing with the Slide Master is that these title sections are announced to screen readers as titles or headings. So if I take this one that has a title and a subtitle, JAWS would announce the title as heading level one and the subtitle as heading level two. And if a user was to bring up a list of headings, they would be listed as heading one and heading two. Let's just close the master view for a moment. So when JAWS reads this, it would read heading level one accessible presentations, heading level two slide master. On this slide, it would read this as heading level one, what is the slide master, and then it would just read the content as text with a bulleted list. One of the most important reasons for using the Slide Master is that in PowerPoint, it is the only way to get a screen reader to announce headings and subheadings. So if I tried to create this myself, there's no way within PowerPoint of me marking those as headings and subheadings. So the Slide Master is really essential for getting that structural information to a screen reader. 
In the next session, we'll look in more detail at how you can change the Slide Masters and even create your own.